And coming up next on Ghana tonight, Remaini O Election Command Center with 19 days to the December 7 elections. Tracking opinion polls uh, put National Democratic Congress's John Dramani Mahama in the lead, predicting victory for him in the presidential election. And this is just coming 19 days to election day, December 7. And this is one that we keep an eye on and, and issues that are played out here. We remain your election command center. Well, and the countdown is on. Remain your election command centers. We're seeing right there, 19 days to election day, December 7. And look, this is the place to be for everything that you need to know on election day. Before, during, and after the election, we've been building up quite strongly. And we're going to be in all the over 44,000 polling stations in 276 constituencies in all the 16 regions. Stay with us here on your election command center. But the Global Info Analytics already, in fact, they've been doing this for quite a while now, tracking opinion polls and, and, and the polls of the people. This is it. This is, they, they describe this as the last national telephone poll, sampling over 3,000, almost 3,000 calls that were placed, and this is the outcome. According to the respondents, the direction of the country, this is a question that has been consistent in all the polls that they've been doing for the past two years. Um, the respondents, on the 8th of November, 62% of them said the country is headed in the wrong direction. On the 16th of November, Two days ago, 63% of the respondents said that the country is heading in the wrong direction. A number of them will say they don't have an opinion, but the performance on the government, that's the verdict of the performance of President Kofuado. 52% of the respondents out of the 16th of November say it's performed poorly or very poorly. And then also you have 30% saying it was, it's, it's good. And in fact, 5% saying excellent. Now look at this. The key issues to voters or for voters hasn't changed. Economy, jobs, education, roads, healthcare form the first five top issues that would influence voter decisions going into December 7 elections some f uh, 19 days away from today. The economy remains number one. Jobs. That's the interlinkage between the economy and jobs you see there. Also, this is it. This is what has been a point of conversation since this poll was released earlier today. It says if elections were held on November 18, that is today, 19 days away from election day, December 7, those who were sampled say this would be their voting direction. This is going to be the outcome. 51.9% John Dramani Mahama, 40.5% Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, 2.1% Alan Chamanting, and guess what? Nanakwam Bediako comes in there with 4.7%. And he's been consistent based on the Global Info Analytics poll, consistently coming in as the third force, as we see here. We'll find out if that's going to play out on Election Day. We have done a trend analysis of the Global Info Analytics poll since April 2022. They've been doing this. Now, since April 2022, you see that John Mahama maintained in the 50s over the period, right from 53%, going up to 58%. And then you see there as well um, what you see over the period when Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya was elected in 2023. You see him inching up to about 36%. When he chose his running mate in July this year, you see in July as well, inching up to 38.2%. So there are some milestones that have influenced Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya and also the MPP's performance in this polls. Musa Dankwa is Executive Director of Global Info Analytics joining us on, on Zoom right now. Musa Dankwa, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Now, first off, you said this is the last poll, so, so it, with everything you've done since April 2022, this is the final one. This is what you're looking into the crystal ball with going into the elections, correct? Yes, that is correct. And um, that is the last national opinion poll. It doesn't mean that we're not going to do any regional polls if we deem fit. And indeed, as we speak, we are doing Ashanti region, Ahaho, and Bono region, which we expect to come out early or later this week. And you, the outcome, you say, if elections were held 19 days from election day, this was going to be it. John Mahama, 51.9, 40.5 for Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, 
and then you have Nanako and Bediako coming in, 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 in that order? Yes, remember plus or minus margin of error of 1.86%. So it could be higher than that or slightly below, uh, below than that. I see, but consistently we, we've seen the trend where you have Dr. Mamou Bamiya also inching um, in, that's going up in those who are saying that they're going to vote for him. And you see as well John Mahama appreciating within almost the same percentages of 0.1 plus 1 uh, and then point, point 0.5 at some point uh, as well. Is this trend going to continue based on your own regional polls that you have done to this point? I believe so. Um, what you are seeing, the marginal changes, is as a result of people who said they may have been undecided and now they are decided. And you see them uh, breaking away in such a way that the gap is maintained. And for that matter, Muhammad will continue to be where he is, and Baumia will be where he is. We're not going to see a dramatic shift in the race. For example, Muhammad being overtaken by Baumia. No, it will not happen. But we are seeing a gradual improvement for Nanakwan Bidia, which tend to be the gains he made at the back of Nana, uh, I... Baumia's numbers. So this, this will continue likely to the last week. And we can see, we may see a bigger breakout in a proportion that we may be higher than what we anticipate. In which case, um, I think uh, they may break away in Muhammad's favor because of the climate or the economic condition. But we've seen a lot that's happening right now with government commissioning a number of landmark projects, right? And a lot of these uh, flyovers that are going to be commissioned. In fact, one was done, uh, it's going to be done either to today, tomorrow, uh, and a number of them lined up for the coming days in, in run up to the elections. With these projects, as we're going to be seeing, have you done a survey and asked a question as to whether these projects to be commissioned would influence voter choices? Well, we've done some surveys in the past and we decided not to continue with it because the, the response were very clear. Um, over 80% of voters will not be bothered by any uh, late commission of project, projects. And indeed, we've seen some consequences where uh, late projects has caused the, uh, the, 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 the candidates to be struggling as we speak. So sometimes that may irritate people. Uh, and we don't think that it's going to have any impact on the election. I see. And uh, really, looking at from what you're saying, how things are playing, and that's going to be my final question, because you, you talked about some of the other factors that have, over time, influenced vo voter choices. We see that nothing has changed when it comes to the economy, jobs, and so on, um, over the period. With the question that you're asking, do you see anything changing, at least in the first five? No. I mean, in fact, if you look at the survey we just released, 90% of voters said they already made up their mind. Only 4% are saying that they are likely going to change their mind depending on what happens in the last few days. So frankly speaking, the window for anyone to improve his numbers beyond what they are getting is very, very slim. And, and for, for Alan Chimanti and Anabe Kwambediako, that, that pendulum is not going to swing opposite sides from your own polls. NKB, Nanakwam Bediako is going to maintain that third, third place? You know, no, Nanakwam Bediako's hurdle is to convince his uh, followers to come up and vote. Normally, when you get the backing of the younger voters, it's good, you have them. But the next problem is how do you get them to the polling station to vote? I that see. will be his hurdle. And, and in some cases, we've seen him lose numbers to Mahama and vice versa. But in this late stage of the race, uh, he's getting his numbers from Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Indeed, the report shows that among the first-time voters, he and Mahama went up in the last period compared to Dr. Babu, who declined by 4%. So his numbers are mainly the young and the youth vote votes. I see. So the appreciation of Nalko Amin votes is at the expense of Dr. Mahama Bamiya more than John Mahama. Yes, it's not coming from John Mahama at all. It's coming from Nalko Amin uh, at this stage. And maybe about uh, five weeks ago, uh, he drained some numbers from, from Mahama, but that has ended since then. And now he's gone into the farm of Baumia uh, and grabbing the post there. We'll keep an eye on this. I, I thank you so much for joining it's us. My pleasure.
Musadankwa is the director of Global Info Analytics and is going to be with us here on the election command center as we do all the gauging and, and, and analysis before joining and after the election day, December 7th. We remain your election command center. Let's stay with the matters of an election 19 days from today on Constituency Watch on your election command center.